Hello guys, another video from my car as every Friday on this channel, but this Friday I want to be a little bit more technical because Laravel 11 is out and we need to talk about whether you should upgrade, but from a bit philosophical point of view. So should you? Should you be the next sexy kid on the block upgraded first and then tweet about it to everyone that you're cool? No, not really. And in general, how do you think about upgrades? Should you upgrade and when you upgrade? So here's my take on that. I repeat that pretty much on every Laravel release every year, so it's time to reiterate. First, you don't need to upgrade right away. There is no rush. Laravel 10 is still working, supported and will be upgraded with minor version fixes if there are anything. And then Laravel 11 will be still here after a month or two or three and perhaps even more solid. And that's the point. Personally, I usually wait for a month or so then Laravel 11 or any Laravel new version will be more solid with bugs fixed, then the packages will be upgraded and ready for Laravel 11, at least majority, and then the well-known issues would be more known, fixed maybe, the blogs written, how to overcome this or that issue or adapt to new structures or something like that. So there should be time for community to catch up with Laravel. So Laravel as a framework itself, it's pretty stable. Even with all those major changes in Laravel 11 skeleton, they are all optional by the way, so you still can upgrade to Laravel 11 but still use old Laravel 10 skeleton structure. But yeah, generally upgrade of Laravel framework is about community packages versions upgrade. This is where majority of potential issues come up. Some package may be not updated to the newest version, some package may introduce new bugs for example with the new versions or unexpected behaviors and stuff like that. So my general advice would be to wait for a month or at least a few weeks. But on the other hand, if you have a new project, you probably should start using Laravel 11 right away. But before that, please plan the list of the packages that you would use and check if they all support Laravel 11 or at least are actively maintained so maintainer would accept the pull request to support Laravel 11. If you have green light from that side, then go on and start a new project with Laravel 11. Also with this Laravel 11 version, I would emphasize the role of well-known tool called Laravel Shift. Because as I mentioned, Laravel 11 comes with quite a lot of changes to Skeleton, so if you want to relatively quickly adopt the new syntax and structure and files and folders, Laravel Shift will help you with that. So for previous versions for Laravel 8 or 9 or 10, the changes were insignificant, so it was debatable whether it's worth to pay Laravel Shift the money, but in this case I would totally recommend to do that. I'm not affiliated with Laravel Shift, I don't get paid for saying that, but it's just my personal opinion. I've seen an example what Laravel Shift has done with Frack blog, Frack from Spotty, you can find his tweet about it with the pull request, it's public on GitHub and it's pretty impressive with a lot of changes and I'm planning to shoot a separate video on that. But in this case, especially if you have a bigger project, Laravel Shift is totally worth the money. And finally, I want to emphasize that in general, you should always try to upgrade to the newest version of the framework, whether it's Laravel or something else, in the long run. So a month or two or three ahead, you should be all working with Laravel 11 version because there will be minor changes, new improvements, new features, and most of them will be out only for the latest versions. Also, the tools like Laravel Reverb and others would be mostly for Laravel 11 or probably for PHP 8.2 only or something like that. So if you want to be kind of with the flow, stay up to date with new cool tools. And I'm pretty sure that Taylor and the team will release a lot of tools. I do recommend to upgrade to Laravel 11 in the end. It's just not right away. You don't have to do it this week or next week. Just plan a separate time for that, calmly, without rush and without stress. Laravel and the team made quite a lot of work to minimize that stress with upgrade guides and blog articles and stuff like that. And if you have any questions about upgrades, of course you can shoot in the comments below or email me povilus at laraveldaily.com and maybe I will shoot separate videos on specific topics or issues. What do you think about the new version? Will you upgrade? Maybe I'm wrong in my opinion somewhere? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in another video.